Yes, guys, check the fifth one. Slightly tricky question, guys, than what we have been doing so far. Following particulars in respect of stock options granted by a company are available. The grant date is 1st April 2008. Number of employees covered are 400 and number of options granted for employee are 60. Nominal value being 100 and exercise price being 125. Shares offered are put into groups. How many shares are offered per employee? 60. Now this 60 are put into groups he is saying. Group 1 covers 20% of the shares offered. That means 60, 60 shares into 20% is 12 shares. Group 2, 40% of the shares offered with a vesting period of 2 years. Now 40% of 60 is 24. Even group 3 is 40% that is 24. What he means to say is, my 60 shares I am splitting into 3 groups. 12, 24 and 24. Of which group 1 has a vesting period of 1. Group 2 has a vesting period of 2 years. And group 3 has a vesting period of 3 years. Fair value of the options under the grant. Under the grant date were 10, 12.5 and 14. The position as on 31st March 2009 is given to you. First year 40 employees left. So if 40 employees left they are not even eligible to get the option 1 also. Option 2 and 3 no chance but option 1 also they won't get. Estimated number of employees expected to leave in 2009-10 is 36. Those people who left in 2009-10 in they are eligible to get group 1 options, but they are not eligible to get group 2 options and group 3 options. Next come to point number C. Number of employees expected to leave that next year in year 3 is 34. These 34 employees will get group 1 options, group 2 options, but are not entitled to receive group 3 options at all. Number of employees exercising the group 1 options are 350. Position as on 31st March 2010, number of employees who left is 35, estimated number of employees leaving is 30 and number of employees exercising the group 2 is 319. Last one, number of employees who left are 28, number of employees at the end of the vesting period is 297 and the number of employees exercising the option under group 3 is 295. Options not exercised immediately on vesting were forfeited. Compute the expenses to be recognized every year and show important accounts in the books of both the and books of the company under both the methods. Guys, the first thing understand guys here when I'm talking about the first year where the group one options are vesting during the year. Actually, how many options were vested? Check. I have total 400 employees, 40 employees left. That means remaining 360 employees have actually vested the option. But how many people exercised in first year? Only 350. That means 10 employees did not exercise only. He is clearly putting down in the last second of point. Options not exercised immediately on vesting were forfeited. That means if I go by the normal logic. First year for group 1 options. I have to create a provision for how many employees? 360. Because 40 employees left out of 400. For the balance 360 employees I have to create the employee stock option outstanding account but however when a utilization is done I am using the ESO outstanding only to the extent of 350 10 employees did not exercise the options towards that 10 employees I have to again write off that provision why re why actually creating a provision why actually writing off a provision you can do it by that method also you raise the provision you write off the provision to the extent of 10 otherwise in a simpler sense I can put it saying that why do you create the option, you know, the entire provision for 360? You know that group 1 employees 350 only exercise, create only for 350 employees. That is sufficient for group for the year 1. Year 2 when we come about, year 1 40 employees left, year 2 35 employees left, total employees who left are actually 75. How many employees were there? 400. If 75 employees left, balance employees should be 325 who are eligible to exercise option in group 2. But how many employees actually exercise? 319. That means 6 employees did not exercise the options vested. Towards the 6 employees, I don't want to create any new provision. So what I'll take year 2, I'll directly apply 319 and we'll start calculating the answer. That's an easier way of putting it forward. Yes guys, so let's start. 
in year 3 also I will create only for 295 employees in the group 3. So whatever group is vesting during that current year, we have to think only about the number of options which were exercised. For that year, I will only consider the options exercised. I will not consider the options vested for the year in which such group options are vesting. Come on guys. The table will not be a little, will be a little bit elaborate guys because there are multiple columns in each year. Three balance sheet dates, 31st March 2009. On the first balance sheet date, how many provisions do I have to create? Group 1, Group 2, Group 3. So here I will write Group 1. Group 2, Group 3. Let's maintain it a bit spacious. Group 1. Second year. Group 1 already vested, already exercised will not come. In the second year, I will have only Group 2 and Group 3. That's it. Third year, I'll have only group 3 because group 2 already got exercised. First year, 3 columns. Second year, 2 columns. Last year, 1 column. Come on guys. Number of options expected to vest. How many employees were then? 400. Employees left in first year is 40. But I am saying that number of options ex employees exercising the group is only 350. For this I will create only to the extent of 350 because even if I create 360, towards the end of the year the 10 unexercised employees I have to write it off. Unnecessary to create a provision, write off the provision, directly create it at 350 only. 350 employees under group 1 number of employees, number of options are 12. Group 2, vesting period is 2 years, 40 employees already left and number of employees expected to leave next year is 36, 40 plus 36 how many people are expected to leave, 76, so balance employees are only 324, number of options per employee are 24 options, last group, 3 years vesting, 40 already left, 36 expected to leave in the next year, 34 expected to leave in the next year. So total number of employees who are expected to leave by the end of year 3 will become 110. So the number of employees will be left is only 290. Come to the year 2 guys, year 2 group 2 are being exercised. How many employees are exercising group 2? 319, direct I will take. 319 into 24. Group 3, how many employees left in the first year? 40. How many employees left in the second year? 35. Total employees left so far? 75. How many employees are expected to leave next year? 30. 75 plus 30, total 105 expected to leave. So 295 are expected to vest. Last year directly group 3 options ex exercising on 295. 295 into 24 options. 
Fill this up. I think this is 4200 options. Yes guys, check your total ECs. Those should be the total EC. Cumulative for group 1. 1 year vesting, 1 by 1. 79,200 into 1 by 2. 97,440 into 1 by 3. 95,700 into 2 by 2. Second year. 99,120 into 2 by 3. Last one, 99,120 into 3 by 3.
amounts of 42,000. Forty-eight thousand six hundred. There is ninety-five seven hundred. There is sixty-six thousand eighty. There is ninety-nine thousand one twenty. Already provided in the previous year, first year's figures will be zeros. So, first year to be provided is 42,000, 48,600, 32,480. Already provided in second year, already provided in the previous year for group 2. Group 2 already provided 48,600, group 3 already provided 32,480. Group two already, group three already provided in second year is ninety no sixty six eighty zero eight zero. Then you'll get what is to be provided. This is forty seven thousand one hundred. This is thirty three thousand six hundred. This is thirty three thousand zero four zero. Combine the figures guys because this entry will be written on a combined basis only. One, two, three, zero, eight, zero. First year. Second year is eighty one seven hundred. Last year no change thirty three zero four zero. Check your answers guys. Small correction now is that the year 2 is 80,700, not 81,700.
Yes, guys, not the journal entries. What did he ask? He asked you to prepare important ledgers, important accounts in the books of the company. What is the both the method that he's talking about? Both the methods in the sense, if I change the method, I'll create this for 360. Towards the end, I'll write it off for 10 employees again. So your final answers will not change. Your final answers have no change, guys. So let's try to prepare the accounts. Account in the sense I am talking about both employee compensation expense account. Yep, as well as employee stock option outstanding account. Employee compensation expense account, only one entries each year and then transfer it to PNL. Employee stock option outstanding card. First create the provision for three years. First year EC two years outstanding. 313 one lakh twenty three thousand zero eight zero. Thirty one three zero nine. Employee compensation expense one lakh Employee compensation expense, you can directly transfer it to PNL on the same day. Balance sheet date it is by PNL 1,23,080 and close it. Not the case with ESO outstanding because ESO outstanding, I am utilizing it for the exercise of the first options. Group 1 options. How much group 1 options are being used? 42,000. Group 1 options, the stock, the reserve created is 42,000. Entire 42,000 has been utilized now because they have vested in the first year. So on 31st March 09, to share capital and securities premium. You don't know how much is share capital, how much is securities premium. Write a combined entry to share capital and securities premium only for the first group options, 42,000. Balance I can carry forward. Balance carried forward to the next year is only the combination of these two. 81,080. 1409 by balance bought down. 81,080 first year provision for group 2 and group 3 options. Again, create 31st March 2010 to ES outstanding. Year 2, 80,700 option created, provision created. Directly put this to PNL. Eighty thousand seven hundred thirty first March two thousand ten. I've utilized for group two to share capital and securities premium again. How much amount of provision is being utilized? Group two forty eight six hundred first year, thirty three six hundred second year, forty eight six hundred sorry, forty seven one hundred second year. The total is basically. 95,700 balance carried down only group 3 balance only group 3 balance 32,480 plus 33,600 total is 66,080 group 1, group 2 already got exercised Bring down the balance, 1-4-2010. 
only group 3 balance 66,080. Create again last year 31st March 2011. EC to ESO outstanding. Last year only group 3 33,040. Put it to PNL and close it. Utilized at the end of the year, 31st March 2011, the options are exercised to equity share capital and securities premium again. $99,120. That is utilized and that will bring us to the end of the entries or ledger accounts of ES outstanding as well as EC. Observe the debits in ESO outstanding guys. The first year debit was a group 1 options utilized. First year debit equity share capital and securities premium is 42,000 for the group 1 options. Because group 1 options were exercised. Second year whatever I have debited for share capital and securities premium is group 2 options. Group 2 options they have created a provision during group 1 as or year 1 as well as year 2. Year 1 they created 48,600, year 2 they created 47,100. Some combination of both is 95,700. The entire 95,700 was debited in ESO outstanding. We are cancelling it or we are utilizing it. The balance which will be left out at the end of year 2 will be only group 3 options. Because year 1 and year 2 both got vested and exercised. The balance in ESO outstanding at the end of year 2 is only pertaining to group 3. Group 3 created in the first year was 32,480, created in the second year was 33,600. 32,480 for, 32, plus 33,600 is total 66,080. What I have created again during the year is 33,040. The entire 99,120 will be utilized at the end of the third year.
turn to the turn to question number 7 guys following particulars in respect of stock options granted by employ by the company are available grant date being 1st april 2008 number of employees covered are 525 and options granted per employee are 100 vesting condition being continuous employment for 3 years and having a nominal value of 100 rupees per share excise price per share is 125 market price per share on the date of grant is 149 Guys, if market price is 149 and excise price is 125, your, fair, your intrinsic value is 24. However, towards the end, he has given you the fair value as 30. My date of vesting is 31st March 2011 and 31st March 2012 being the exercise date. Positions are given to you on 31st March 2009. Number of employees who actually left are 15. Estimated annual rate of departure. First year, 15 gone. Second and third year, he is expecting 2% to leave. So, how do we calculate number of employees 525 minus 15 into 98% into, into 98%? Two times I have to multiply that is for year 2 as well as year 3. Second year, number of employees who left are 10, estimated annual rate of departure is 3%. Now, how do we calculate 525 minus employee left in year 1 are 15 minus employee left in year 2 are 10. Multiplied by third years expected for features are three percent into ninety-seven percent. Last year four ninety-two straightforward figure. Four eighty is the number of empl uh, employees exercising the option, and twelve people are not exercising. Calculate the amount to be recognized as expense as per both the methods, fair value as well as intrinsic. Intrinsic value is only twenty-four. Fair value is thirty. So maintain two columns for each year. <coughs> Thirty first March zero nine. First year thirty one three ten. Second year thirty one three eleven being the third year. Number of options. Expected to vest. Year 1. 525 employees were there. Out of which 15 employees already left in the first year. I am expecting estimated annual rate of departures to be 2%. What first year over? Second year I am expecting 0.98 to remain. Third year again I am expecting only 0.98 to remain. And these employees are entitled to receive options of 100 options per employee multiplied by 100. Year 2. Initially I had 525. 15 left first year. Second year how many left? Number of departures is 10. And estimated rate of departures for the third year is 3%. 0 0.97. Employees are entitled to 100 options. Last year straight, 492 into 100. Identify the number of employees.
maintain two two columns throughout after that bring them down to fair values intrinsic values 30 fair value 24 intrinsic value One by three, one by three for the first year, two by three, two by three for the second year, and three by three, three by three for the third year.
Check your finances guys. That is all the question asked. What are the expenses to be provided in the current year? Both the methods. So I maintained two columns and started solving both fair value as well as intrinsic value. Yes guys, he is also asking us the accounts to be maintained. So try to maintain two amount columns. One is the fair value and one being the intrinsic value. Fair value, intrinsic value, date. Efficient for EC. Start with the entries on 31st March 09. EC to ES outstanding. First column is fair value. Second column is intrinsic value. Fair value column. First year 489,800. Intrinsic value 391,840. By P and L Second year, four lakh eighty thousand two hundred, three lakh eighty four thousand one sixty. Put it back to PNL. Four eighty two hundred and three eighty four one sixty. Bring down this provision for the next year, one four two thousand nine. Balance board down 489,800 and 391,840. 31st March 2010, employee compensation expense 48200, 384,160. 31st March 2010, carry forward the balances. 
बैलेंस कैरी डाउन टोटल आर नाइन लैख सेवेंटी थाउजेंड एंड सेवन लैख सेवेंटी सिक्स थाउजेंड कैरी डाउन द बैलेंसेस टू यर थ्री वन फोर टू थाउजेंड टेन बैलेंस बॉट डाउन टोटल प्रोविजन आर नाइन लैख सेवेंटी एंड सेवन लैख सेवेंटी सिक्स यू डोट हैव टू टोटल गाइज यू कैन चेक दीज बैलेंसेस यूर इट विल बी द सेम बाई एम्प्लॉय कॉम्पनसेशन एक्सपेंस लास्ट ईयर थर्टी फर्स्ट मार्च टू थाउजेंड टेन लास्ट ईयर हम मच डी क्रिएट फाइव लैख सिक्स थाउजेंड एंड फोर लैख फोर थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड पोस्ट डी वेन टू ईसी थर्टी फर्स्ट मार्च टू थाउजेंड इलेवन Yes, outstanding. Five lakh six thousand four zero four eight double zero. Thirty-first March two thousand eleven. Put it back to P and L. Balance carried down. Thirty-first March, eleven. Fourteen lakh seventy-six thousand and eleven lakh eighty thousand eight hundred. Don't totally take your balances directly. Bring down the balance to the next year, one four two thousand eleven. Balance brought down fourteen seventy six thousand and eleven lakh eighty thousand eight hundred. Exercise leaving twelve unexercised options. Balance four eighty are exercise. Four eighty employees exercise on what date? Thirty first March two thousand twelve to equity share capital and securities premium balance twelve options I have to transfer it to general reserve. How much do you transfer to equity share capital? Four eighty employees. 480 employees each one is having 100 options and i'm creating a provision at rate of 30 so 480 into 100 is 48000 48000 into 3 this will be 14 lakh 40000 next one 48 employees sorry 480 employees 100 options 48000 into 24 48 into 24 is 11 lakhs. Okay. 48,000 into 24 is 11 lakh 52,000. Or else fill up general reserve. Write this as balancing figure. General reserve directly, you know, 12 employees did not get 100 empl 100 options per employee. 12 employees into 100 options 1200 1200 into 30 36000 into 24 how much 28800 that's it account should tally towards the end 